Hey, Arrow. Hey, Arrow. Hey, good morning, you two. How are you doing today? Great attention. I got to tell you something. I love Fired on Mars on HBO for the reason that somebody is finally giving us a true picture of the what if factor. If we're all going to move to Mars, what if? (laughs) Exactly. You think it's going to be this big, crazy thing, but you get stuck in another office. (laughs) And can you imagine being in a situation like that where your nearest job is, is still, what, five years away? Yeah, I mean, we're not far from it right now, actually, depending on how things go with this first season. <laughs> when when you put a show like this together, how, how does it come together? I mean, first of all, I mean, I, I look at what you're doing on this as being inventive in the way of a, of a Lennon and McCartney or a Jagger and Richards. You guys are creating something that we're going to we're going to talk about it. And, and, and then all of a sudden the binge watch begins. Yeah, well, the whole thing started out as an animated short we created back in 2016, and it was on obviously a much smaller scale, and uh, and it was really exciting to build it out into an entire season of television. The show is so simple. I mean, you make it so real, and and to me, it's it what what's involved here is the physical act of listening. We get to listen to things as as the story unravels in front of us on HBO. Yeah, we've paid a lot of attention. You know, you bring up uh, sound. We we hopefully really made something unique with the music and sound design and all that. That was something that we really paid close attention to. Our We had a great composer, Greg Gersten, that we were working with on this. Is Jeff Cooper somebody that you really know? Jeff Cooper's all of us, uh, unfortunately. He's, he's all of us. Uh, somewhere, you know, he's this... Every man who is a little too optimistic and uh, he gets he gets uh, his comeuppance. Because I, I love the fact that you, you do the video call and, and, and where he's, he's calling back home. And I, the, the emotion that I had during that was like, it, once again, it's back to that what if factor. What if it was me making that phone call to come home? Because everything I've ever read about Mars, we're not coming back home. It's a one-way trip. Yeah. It's a life sentence. Yeah, and uh, he's he's making these calls back to his uh, girlfriend, who's supposed to be coming up to join him in a few months, but it remains to be seen uh, how committed she is to that idea. Coming up with the things that stand in the way of Jeff Cooper, you use everyday events uh, to, to make that happen, and to me that, that brings us even closer to the story, uh, and, you know, to keep us viewing what, what's happening. Yeah, we tried to capture, you know, all these little idiosyncratic moments from work and from life and put those into this extreme, harsh, alien environment of Mars. Wait, have you talked to any astronauts yet? Because I've, I've been blessed to talk with a lot of astronauts that are very excited about doing something on Mars. And then when I watch, uh, you know, Fired on Mars on HBO, I sit there and I think, I wonder if, if the astronauts feel the same way. We haven't had the privilege of talking to any astronauts yet, but I'd love to hear what they think about the whole thing. They probably have a lot of notes. <laughs> They'll sit down with you going, okay, guys, uh, let's let's talk about what's happening here. Exactly. We've all had those moments where, where we get canned. I mean, I live in radio. We just moved to another town, and, and, and we start all over again. The, for, for, him, for Jeff Cooper to go through this process, I mean, I, mean, I, I love the anxiety level that you've, you, you give him, but at the same time, it's, it's a learning tool for many of us out here on, on this real planet that we're living now. It's like, okay, Jeff's going to put it together. we got to put it together, too. Yeah, totally. You never know what's around the corner. You, it used to be sort of, I think, in the old days that you would start a job when you're 25 and you were there until you're 65. And now it's uh, it's a lot shorter than that. You bounce from one thing to the next. One planet to another. Do you feel like that you've reinvented something with, with this idea? Because the you know, it, it's just unlike anything else that's on TV. And, and kudos to HBO for, for letting you guys put this up on the, their platform. Yeah, I think we, you know, we drew inspiration from a lot of different places like, you know, Mike Judge was Office Space and King of the Hill. And we tried to mix that workplace type of comedy with a more sci-fi angle. And so hopefully it's, it's something novel.
What do you see happening with with the show? I know we're going to get through season number one, but do you see it maybe, I mean, many things happen. Things become movies. They become uh, maybe an hour and a half and and things like that when it comes to shows like this. Well, the way... Yeah, the way we put it together was almost like a, a one long movie. So it's, it's very serialized and there's a lot of kind of plot twists and turns. And so we, I feel like we're, we're kind of splitting the difference there. And hopefully we get to do it a second season because we've got a long you know, list of places we want to go with this thing. Is it going to be season one or season two when you start unveiling merchandise that we can wear on T-shirts or little figurines? <laughs> Hopefully he's real soon. We'll see. Yeah, because it has that staying power about it. It's It's got something, like you said, you know, Jeff is, is, is a piece of every one of us. Yeah, we're going to set up, you know, after this call, we're going to set up a <laughs> cafe press and print some T-shirts. Uh, give Jeff Cooper uh, the, the power of the podcast up there as well. Have him do some podcasts and then send him back to the earth about what life right. is like on <laughs> Mars. And <laughs> That's just what we all need. So away from all of the excitement of Fired on Mars on HBO, what do you guys do um, in the everyday world? I mean, I know this is a huge project, but but creative minds are constantly creating. You know, we, this was a long process. Uh, we we were pretty much uh, no- dominated our lives, you know, a lot of our lives for the past four, five, six, seven, eight years. Yep. Uh, so not a lot has happened outside of that. The beauty, the beauty and the curse of animation is that you get to design a entire world from the ground up, but the, you know, the curse of it is you have to design a world from the ground up. So every last drawing and detail, um, you know, has to be created. And it's, it's a interesting process. It's a giant collaboration, and trying to get everyone on the same page and keep them on it is uh, really, really something. Well, I'm so glad that you guys have done this, and I can't wait until we can all start talking about it on social media, and we can all have our our journeys uh, and and, and experiences with with, uh, Fired on Mars. Please come back to this show any time in the future. The door is always going to be open for the two of you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Be brilliant, you guys. Thank you. Thank you.